Greetings to everyone who is watching this video. During the next 6 minutes I will tell you how to download and unzip C3D Toolkit package as well as how to compile and run the test application. In order to start working with C3D components you need to download it from the server. To do this type C3D SDSCON RU in the address bar of any browser and get into the system on the FTP server. To log in you need to enter a username and a password. In the system we see a list of all available distribution packages of C3D toolkit. We will download the latest compiled revision. We need to download an example containing the source code of the test application and in the list of available C3D libraries we will choose the one that is relevant for us for 64 bits operating systems Visual Studio 2012 with Unicode. Downloaded archives will be unpacked into the C3D test folder created on the desktop. Let's see what files and directories are there. The demo folder contains several configurations of the compiled test application. There are Russian and English versions for 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. The include folder contains all the header files needed to build the test application. The source folder contains the source files for the building of the test application. Debug and release. Here you can find the debug and release configuration of DLL and lib C3D libraries. The models folder contains several models that can be opened and edited in the test application. In addition, there are generated project files for Visual Studio 2012. There is also a readme file that contains information on how to build and run a test application. We could take advantage of the generated projects for Visual Studio 2012, but we will show how to generate these projects using CMake. You can download CMake installation package on cmake.org. You may choose the latest version of this program. While installing CMake, you must select adding the path to the program in the system environment. The program installs quickly enough. We will generate the project using the CMake program. In the upper window of the application, the path to the source folder is selected. In the second window, specify the path to the build folder. Such a folder will be created, a project will be generated in it. We can choose the Visual Studio for which we need to generate the project. And then we select the 64-bit configuration.
generation completed. We will compile and run the test application in the Visual Studio 2012. To do this, open the newly generated project and start the building of this project. Now we can run the test application. To do this, mark the test project as a start one and run the test application. Using this application, we can open any of the models from the models folder. Editing these models is not available until a license key is entered. You can do this through a menu Help License Key command. So we can summarize. In this video we looked at how to download, install, build and run a test application. Thank you for your attention.